Okay, the next step would be to tape another piece of biggie paper over the uh, nice neat constructed inked grid and to sort of sketch out where you would like uh, to place various cubic volumes. But uh, so that you can see it on the video here, I'm going to use this red pencil and just sort of uh, go through the process. So um, the assignment has to do with uh, quite a few cubes. I need to do seven cubes and they'll be eventually drawn uh, as solid volumes. And I want to place them in various spaces, uh, pla places on the grid. Uh, so I'm going to start with um, a large, uh, a larger cube. It's going to be two squares by two squares in height, width, and depth. The easiest place to start is uh, probably the front corner here. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to sort of sketch in where I want this cube to be. So it's going to be two squares over, so one, two, and then two squares up, so one, two. And I'm using the wall to find out where those want to be. And then once I've decided that's where it's going to be, I'll do this. I'll draw the front face. That looks pretty good. So it's a two by two by two, which is a cube. So I know if I go two squares back and draw another vertical, there's my other side. And then here's my vanishing point. I lightly drew in the horizon line, the center of vision before, and I know where my vanishing point is. So if it's not a horizontal line or a vertical line, then it has to be an orthogonal that goes back into perspective. So here we go. That goes back. Here's the corner where they intersect. And that goes back. And that intersects this line. Because we're in one point perspective, the front face is horizontal and the back face is horizontal as well. So since we're right up against the grid, my front right hand corner matches the wall in front right hand corner and the back right hand corner goes right onto the grid right there. Alright now let, let's locate another square somewhere else in the volume. Let's say back here somewhere. And I'll make another fairly large one but it's farther back into space. So I'm going to go make a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. It'll also be on the floor. So I think I'll start here. And this time since I'm way out here <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to uh, trace out where my floor is. So I'm going to count one, two, three. Okay, that's good. And then one, two, three back. And one, two, three back. And so there's the base square to this new cube. In fact, I probably should use a, uh, a marker. But let's see, let's see if this works. Okay, there's the base. Going right to the vanishing point, keeping along the grid. And it's going to be three cubes high three squares high. So how do I find three squares? Well I've got my wonderful grid over on that side so I just follow this line to the edge here and I count up one, two, three. So it's going to be there. Now I'm going to bring over a horizontal line like that. So that's the front face so from the front right hand corner I'll bring up a vertical line until it intersects that horizontal line. From the front left corner at the bottom I'll bring up another vertical line and then connect those two. There's the front face of my cube. Where does the orthogonal go? To the vanishing point. So I'm going to draw the corresponding edge to this bottom edge here which will be the top edge. We are below the horizon line so I know it's going to go up toward the vanishing point. It's only going to go a little ways because if I count back from the bottom, one, two, three, there's where the back vertical edge needs to go. So I'll draw a vertical line there. And we're drawing transparently for now, so I'm going to draw the back vertical edge of the left side first very lightly show where it is and then since a line drawn from the right hand edge toward the vanishing point is an orthogonal so is a line drawn from the left hand edge which defines the top of this cube so here's my corner there's my vanishing point I'm going to draw this line it stops where that vertical ends we're very close to the horizon line so that top face is extremely foreshortened and then I just connect those two lines in the back 
Okay, so there's my second cube. And I'll just darken this one up. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to uh, stop for now and then go to the next one.